Hi, I'm Allison Young, and this is how to tell time based on stars. When telling the time, we use a few factors to represent time elapsing. There is a reference point and a connected hour hand which spins around this center as the time goes on. Of course, these numbers are a visual representation of the hours passing. In the sky, the center is the North Star, also known as Polaris, because it is located above the poles in the center of the Earth, hence the term Polaris. To find it, locate the constellation the Little Dipper, which looks like this. It is this star located at the end of the handle. The hour hand is created by the constellation the Big Dipper. To make the hour hand, just draw an imaginary line between these two outer stars and Polaris. But to make things easier, here is a visual reference for the hour hand. Notice how, on both clocks, as time goes on, these hour hands spin around the center. The only difference is that the sky clock, the stars rotate counterclockwise because the stars rise from the east and set in the west, like the sun. Using this, you can find the raw time. So let's say our raw time is 5 o'clock. Keep in mind, this is only an estimate, and it is not the final time. In the sky, a few other factors have to be accounted for. Each night, the stars shift a little west. Actually, they shift two minutes west each day, which adds up to the stars rising two hours earlier each month. So, to calculate the real time, you have to add one hour per month before March 7th or subtract one hour per month after March 7th. It is currently June, so you would add three hours to our raw time, which is five, so our new time is eight o'clock. Now, because the star clock rotates every 24 hours instead of 12, like a normal clock, you have to double this time, so 2 times 8 is 16. Now you subtract this number from 24 to account for the whole counterclockwise situation, and our real time comes to be 8 o'clock. The last step is to account for daylight savings time, and because it is daylight savings time, we add an hour. Our final time comes to be 9 o'clock. Even though this is a lot of calculations, after some practice, it becomes an easy way to tell time.